Okay, here we go, folks, with another quick view of Rod's Random Reviews. Thanks for joining us. And uh, you know that we all like Yeti. We don't necessarily like the price, but we had a uh, Yeti recall, and I had that with the uh, magnet top that they say could come off and damage children and stuff. So I had an option. I had about $350 worth of... Uh, uh, credits when I turned the Yeti, um, uh, the big yellow Yeti you may have seen. So this is the Yeti Hopper Flip 18. You can kind of see here what they're talking about. What are these run? 200 bucks or something? Or 250? Um, but so let's see what we can do here with this one. Uh, it has the zipper, which is, you know, tough to deal with sometimes. They've theoretically improved the zipper. Obviously doing this one-handed, folks. Um, they've improved the zipper. Let's see what we have in here. Just open the box. So there's the owner's kit. We'll take a peek at that. Some sort of packaging salt. So yeah, here's gonna be your, uh, what is this, a mint green strap. And uh, yeah, one of the things they finally smarted up to we knew about this early on, was get yourself some chapstick, but this is some Yeti uh, zipper lubricant. So uh, if you keep your zipper lubricated, sounds funny, but you know what I mean. Uh, keep your zipper lubricated, it'll be easier to uh, close and open. Because once you, you know, get this thing going, they do, they have improved this. They got a good handle, so you can get your two fingers. That is good. That is good, and you kind of get an angle. So it's 100% leak proof. That's one of their selling points. And let's see what the back looks like here. Yeah, you got a little Velcro thing going on. Uh, you can put little sandwich bags and stuff back there. Uh, thought about getting one of those. So to keep it uh, Velcroed on, so if you're jumping out, so. All right, about to go tailgating, first trip of the year. So let's fill this puppy up. Let's see what it'll hold. The Yeti, leak proof top, tough as nails, carry the day cooler. I got this on a trade in with my magnet top. Okay, so what do I have here now? I have 369, a regular 12 ounce size adult beverages. We won't talk about that. I did find a couple of uh, IPAs, didn't realize I had, so look what I found. Uh, over here, we got the skinny, uh, taller versions of the 12 ounces. So we've got six of those. And I just got a couple of diet green teas here. So that's what she will hold if you pack them all together. And uh, let's put some ice yeah, in. while I'm down here. It's uh, I'm in the basement of my house. So this is the owner's kit. Just popped it open. So you're looking at a Yeti Hopper leak proof cooler. You know about all that. How to keep it clean, how to look it over, how to join the Yeti Nation. Uh, some stats on performance and stuff like that. We don't read instructions, do we? Okay, so you might want to register your Yeti in case there's a recall or something. Um, so there's a mechanism to do that. Register your Yeti. And of course, you're going to get a sticker to uh, put on another cup or who knows, uh, a notebook or something that you deal with. So that's what the... Uh, that's what the little owner's manual looks okay, here's like. Here's what the uh, strap on is beginning to look like here. Um, it's about to say Yeti thought of everything. This thing here rotates 360 degrees. So if you happen to put it on and the strap's not right, you can rotate it. Of course, you got handles here to hold on to as well if you, uh, you know, don't want to use the strap. So, um, Oh yeah, there's a little handle here. If you're just grabbing it and running and it's zipped up, I guess you could hold it there. I guess you could hold it here, that sort of thing. So let me tell you what I was thinking. They, they thought of everything. Nope. They should have made one of these big enough to slide the zipper lubricant in. 
I can't get that in there. If I figure it out later, I'll let you know. So anyway, you got to keep this either inside. There's nothing up here at the top to hook it to or whatever. All right. Now we're upstairs. We're at the ice maker. And we've got the hopper flip here. Now we're ready to put ice in. Okay, I just threw some of this uh, half moon uh, ice from the uh, refrigerator right there. And uh, so these drinks were already cold. I'm gonna zip this up. I'm gonna put something right here. You know, if you've got the blue Yeti uh, freezable parts, you can stick those in between there and really keep them cold. But I think, you know, once we, we're in, in an RV that has a refrigerator in it, so this will keep it cold enough till we get to where we're going. The refrigerator should be should be cold then. We'll go now there. we're ready to go. Just a couple of little small glass flask with the um, adult beverage of your choice. Got them tilted up, but these are, you know, these are nice glass with a rubber outsiding. So you're out and about with it being glass and everything, you can drink it. You know, sip it. Don't drink it. Sip it right from the right from the flask there. Okay. Thanks for watching. Rod's random reviews. I think it takes two hands to zip up a Yeti. It takes two hands to handle a Whopper. Blah blah blah. Yep, gonna take two hands, folks. Sorry about that. So much easier with this new um, handle to the zipper. You just put two fingers in there and. Zzz. But you do have to put one hand over here and hold it down. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Rod's Random Reviews. Please comment. Let me know how your Yetis are doing. And did you flip from the magnet, which was so convenient, to the zipper? We'll see how often we have to lubricate. Bye now.